Hey everybody, Amy from Sephora Park Meadows in Denver, Colorado here. I'm super excited to share with you my nighttime skincare routine. Living in Colorado, I live in such a dry climate and my skin is already a little bit more on the dry side. So if you wanna learn a little bit more about how to keep your face dewy, hydrated, and bright, keep watching. So I'm starting my skincare routine off with the Lancome Meal and Mousse Foaming Cleansing Makeup Remover with Acacia Honey. This is a really great cleanser for all skin types, and since I lean a little bit on the drier side, it ensures that I get all of my makeup off without making my skin feel dry or tight. Also, honey is a great ingredient to have in your skincare routine because it's antibacterial, antimicrobial, and it's a natural humectant, helping to maintain a healthy and hydrated complexion. I like to apply this onto my skin dry and really help to break down all of my eye makeup and any makeup where I've built up a lot of coverage. Then to help get everything off of my face and get my skin nice and clean, I'm using the Foreo Luna Mini 2. This is an awesome little tool because it has non-abrasive silicone bristles. So my skin is clean, but not stripped of the moisture that it actually needs. This is also really great because it reaches all of those harder to reach areas like around my nose where I tend to get a little bit more makeup buildup. And I actually just get my Foreo wet rather than my face. It just helps to add a little bit of slip and glide for easy and mess free cleansing. And at home, I usually just splash my face with warm water in the sink. But since I'm in the studio, I'm just using a damp cloth with warm water to remove all of the makeup and leftover cleanser. Then I'm going in with the Sephora Collection Triple Action Cleansing Water. I wear a lot of eyeliner and mascara, and so sometimes that initial cleanse doesn't get all of it off. So I just get a cotton swab wet with the cleansing water and gently rub it across my lash line to clean up any residual eyeliner and mascara that my cleanser didn't get. All right, next for the Ula Henriksen Power Bright 3-Step Professional Brightening System. This stuff is super amazing, keeps my skin really bright and smooth. It's a 3-step system, starting off with the Polishing Sugar Mask to get rid of any dead or dull skin cells and allow the rest of the system to work the best. You want to massage this into your skin for about 2 minutes. Really make sure you're picking up anything on your skin, any dead or dull skin cells. Then before I move on to step 2, I want to rinse off the pulsing sugar mask, get rid of any sugar granules before I move on to the next step. All right, for step two, we're going in with the Truth 25% Vitamin C Concentrate. This is for maximum radiance. I want to be seen from space, so I love this step because it's super, super brightening and it makes my skin radiant and glowy. You want to let this step sit on your skin for about two to three minutes. Next up, I'm going in with the 3-in-1 Melting Cleanser to activate the concentrate. I'm not rinsing the concentrate off. I'm just applying this over the top. A warming and tingling sensation is normal. That means it's working. And you want to let the two sit on your skin for about 10 to 15 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and rinse this clean. Again, at home, I'm just splashing my face with the sink. But here in the studio, I just use a warm, damp cloth. All right, next up is the holy grail of anti-aging skincare, the Alginus Genius Liquid Collagen. They should change the name of this product to Liquid Perfection because since I started using it, I've noticed a huge difference in my expression lines on my forehead, what I like to refer to as my sass brow lines, and the lines that are on my neck from staring at my phone too much. So I like to start by applying the serum in the areas where I need it the most, so forehead, in between my eyebrows, and on my neck, and I like to press it in and massage upwards. Next up, I'm going in with my Dr. Dennis Gross C Plus Collagen Brighten and Firm Eye Cream. I actually have hereditary dark circles, so the collagen helps to act like tiny little cheerleaders to pep up my under eyes and keep my eyes bright and smooth so I don't need as much concealer in the morning. I like to start by tapping the eye cream on the outsides of my orbital bone and working my way in, and I like to work it all the way around my eyebrows to help out with any fine lines that surround my eyes. And for this next step, I'm going in with the Mirad City Skin Overnight Detox Moisturizer. This moisturizer is super amazing because it helps to neutralize the daily pollution that we encounter, including all the damage from the blue light from staring at my phone. I swear, every time I use this moisturizer, I wake up with clearer, brighter, and smoother skin. It's amazing. And at night, I absolutely cannot forget about my lip treatments. I'm starting out with the Tarte Lip Facial Lip Scrub. It has microfine sugars in it. I love that it's also a twist-up tube for easy and a mess-free application. Living in Colorado, my lips are 
always chapped, so I like to make sure that they're nice and smooth before I go to bed because I also like to wear matte lipsticks, so that doesn't help my cause. I also don't rinse this off because the microfine sugars just kind of absorb right into my lips and act like really nice hydrators. And I'm finishing my routine with the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Balm. I absolutely love this product. It has such a smooth texture to help keep my lips hydrated after a full day of wearing matte liquid lipsticks. And since I tend to bite my lips, it helps to keep them smooth so I'm not as tempted to bite them. All right, everybody, that is my nighttime skincare routine. Thank you so much for watching. If there's any products that you love for dry skin, be sure to comment below. Subscribe to the channel for any future videos, and good night.